G'day, Nick here, Animal Engineering. Welcome back to the channel. And this episode is going to be slightly different than the normal. We're not actually doing any work on the van. Uh, I just thought now that the body and the shell is all back together in one piece, I'd take a moment to share some of the things I've learned along the way. Uh, when I first started this project, I reached out to a few people. I'd seen photos on Instagram and Facebook of people with the roofs off these things. Reached out to a few people to try and get a bit of advice and stuff. Didn't really get a reply from anyone, so I sort of went into it blind and made quite a few mistakes along the way. Now that it's all back together, I have a pretty clear idea of how things should go, so I thought I'd pass that on and potentially save someone out there the headache that I went through. Looking back now, the way that I went about taking this roof off was absolutely ridiculous made it a hell of a lot harder than it needed to be. So if you go back through my videos on the Metro, you better see how not to do it. So bearing in mind, the roof isn't fully finished, fully welded back on yet, but I'll be able to show you all the different spots and welds that you need to cut to free it up from the body. So one of the first parts you're gonna to have to do is Grind away the lead, or sand it back, get rid of the lead on this connection from the roof to the body. Do that on both sides, and then there will be a weld here, and a weld here on both sides that will need to be cut. Uh, there's a row of spot welds along the top of the window frame, they will need to be drilled out. You can see mine haven't been welded back in yet. You will, need to, you will need to cut through this part of this centre pillar for the window. That's pretty much it for the outside at the front. So coming around to the back, you'll need to dig the lead out from both of these corners and then you'll be able to get to the welds and cut those welds to free the roof skin from the quarter panel. So there's also spot welds along the top of this rear door opening. You have to drill those spot welds out as well. And then coming inside the van. Inside the van, mine had two screws here and here on both sides. You'll need to remove those two screws. And then this piece stays with the van, this angle piece. And these welds along here will need to be cut up around this arch and then all the way along all the way along there so that's on both sides coming through to the inside at the front along this header here there's rows of screws you need to undo those screws and then on this inner panel mine had three screws there so you need to take those three screws out and then this piece and this piece will stay with the van there's a weld up in here also weld right in there, a bit hard to see. So the top of this door post there's a couple of welds up in there that need to be cut. You will need to remove these screws from this post here. Now mine had and still see remnants a couple of welds on the top. Uh, so I had to cut those two welds also, free that up. And then, you can 
see the top there. It's a little weld. finished that weld yet but you can see where that one is so so basically if you go through and cut all those welds out obviously you have to take the sliding doors off um, if you don't want to actually remove them from the van you just undo the bolts from the hanger and then the door can stay inside its little pocket there and you can pull the roof off so basically to get the roof off that is all you need to do obviously I've got all the interior panels trim panels out uh, you'll have to pull them out obviously to get to those welds along the top on the inside and the rear quarter panels have those panels as well which they will just unscrew and come out so obviously pull your internal panels out so you can access all those welds go through the inside cut those welds around the top do the cut the welds joining the roof to the body on the four corners and your roof should come off now I'm assuming this is a 1960 uh, Metro. I'm assuming that the rest of them are basically the same. That old word, assumption. <laughs> now to remove a quarter panel, you need to also cut those welds along the top. Uh, there's spot welds on the door frame that need to be drilled out. And then down the bottom here, where it meets that panel where your license plate is, uh, there's spot welds on the side there and then on the side of the van for whatever reason it's not actually welded there it's bolted so undo all those bolts you need to cut the if you're only doing the quarter panel and leaving the roof you will need to cut it from the roof in that same piece of angle where I was just mentioning to cut to get the roof off and then the quarter panel will just drop down pretty pretty easy now I have seen photos of people with the sides of off their vans with the roof still on I'm not a hundred percent sure how you achieve that as the side panels are spot welded the whole way around the frame underneath the roof along the top so I don't actually know how people have done that um, so yeah that's just a very quick overview of what I've found from working on the van and how if I was going to do another one I would go about taking the roof off. So if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more interesting stuff on the van. That old Commodore there is about to meet its maker, give it its life up for the van. So yeah, you've made it this far, cheers for watching.